Hello and welcome to my new YouTube tutorial series on Python game making for beginners. This video is going to serve primarily as an introduction just to let you know what we're getting into and what you need in order to follow along with this series. First of all, I want to talk about a couple of prerequisites. First and foremost, uh, there is no coding experience required for this video series. However, at least a passing knowledge of some programming language uh, will be helpful as we're going to be moving pretty quickly. So each uh, video that I do is going to build upon the ones before it. So make sure that you understand everything that was in the last video before you go on to the next one. You will also need a Python installation since we are going to be using the Python programming language for this series. Um, I'm not going to go over installation here. I covered that in another video. I will link to that above. So go ahead and check that one out if you don't know how to install Python. You will also need an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. Thankfully, Python comes with one pre-installed called IDLE, and we're going to be using that one in the beginning. We're actually going to be using IDLE's interactive interpreter, but there is also a full if stripped down um, IDE that comes with it as well that will be uh, that, that is suitable for creating entire programs. So there are a couple of other options you can use. When we get into writing full programs, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. That's the one that I recommend. It's free and it is actively maintained, and you can use it for a variety of different programming languages. It also has a bunch of great built-in features that you will find very useful. In addition to Visual Studio Code, you can also use PyCharm or Sublime Text or Notepad++. There are lots of different options. I recommend trying a couple and finding what works for you, but in my experience, Visual Studio Code strikes a very good balance of features as well as ease of use. So why are we going to use Python for this series? Um, first and foremost, Python was uh, originally made as a learning language. It was made to be very easy to use and uh, as a teaching tool for learning the basics of computer, of computer science and computer programming. So already it's going to be very, very easy to use. If you're coming from another programming language, a lot of the concepts are going to be familiar, but the syntax is a little bit different in Python, but it should be very, very easy to follow along. And again, I'm gonna go through everything every step of the way and fully explain everything that we do. I may move a little bit quickly, but I am going to be sure to give full explanations of everything. So Python is a great first language for those reasons, and it's also actively maintained. They're still coming out with new versions of it, and it has a very, very active user base, and it has many great third-party modules that you can import that extend the core features and functionality of the code. So later on, when we get to making graphical games, we're going to be using a third-party library called Python Arcade, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, also, Python is the only programming language that I personally have a decent amount of skill with. I've dabbled in a few different programming languages. Python is the one that I know the best, and it's actually, despite it being really easy to use, it's quite powerful, and there's a whole lot that we can do with it. So what is this course going to contain? First of all, we're going to start with the basics of coding. We're going to get into concepts such as data types and variables. We're going to get into doing math with Python. We're going to talk about manipulating and formatting data, um, including, uh, including formatting text on the screen. Uh, after that, we're going to get into conditional statements, such as if else statements, uh, as well as loops like while loops and for loops. Later on after that, we're going to get into functional programming. We're going to talk about creating our own functions uh, for use in our code so we can reuse snippets of our code. And finally, we're going to get into object-oriented programming. This is also going to be a project-based course. So everything that we do is going to be building towards a project that uses everything that we've learned so far. So the first projects that we're going to do are going to be text-based projects in the console. We're going to do things such as a very simple guess the number game. Um, we're going to do a Mad Libs project and eventually we're going to get into a text adventure. So the text adventure is going to be similar to lots of old games that I played in my childhood such as the Zork series or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's going to be really fun to do. After that we're going to get into graphical games by using the module that I mentioned before Python Arcade. We're going to start with um, very simple projects such as just drawing primitive shapes to the screen in different ways. Um, after that, we're going to get into making some clones of some old Atari games like, you know, Space Invaders and Asteroids and some things like that. Um, before getting into more complicated games such as platforming games and eventually we'll get into physics-based games. 
So that about covers the outline for this course. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into some coding, but I'm going to split that off into a second video. I'm going to link to that above, um, and it will go up around the same time as this one. So with that, go ahead and open up Idle, click on the second video, and let's get ready to start coding.